Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be talking about fall fashion trends. Now, if you're someone that loves the trends, if you love fashion in general, this week is just the last week to register for my online personal stylist training. If you're someone that wants to get into this field, if you wanna style other women, if you wanna personal shop for them, do wardrobe makeovers, all the fun stuff, I'm gonna teach you everything I have learned over the past 14 years of being in this business, how to thrive in this business. So the doors close on Saturday. If you want to jump in, check out the link down below. I would be honored to teach you. All right, now fall fashion trends. I can't believe we are here. It's actually currently roasting in Toronto where I'm located, so I'm still in summer dress mode, but I gotta say, I am really excited about what's upcoming for the fall fashion season. My brain and creativity is just going into overdrive. I can't wait to share these trends with you guys and of course show you how to toy with them this upcoming season. So let's go over the top 10 that I think are relevant to the season that you're gonna be seeing a lot of. Some of you are gonna love it, some of you may hate it. That's okay, only pick out the trends that speak to your personal style. Trends are not meant to be a must wear. You don't have to adopt it if it doesn't speak to you, so let's just throw that out there. But here are the things that you're going to be seeing in retailers just about everywhere that are going to be very modern for this fall fashion season. So let's jump in. Now, one of the first fall fashion trends that actually we saw a little bit last winter are vests. Now, you're gonna see vests in every capacity across the board. We're going to see them in long vests, almost like a jacket style, sleeveless vest that's in more of a jacket form. You're gonna see the sweater vest, especially. This is what we saw last winter. It is going to be major this upcoming fall. You're already seeing it in a lot of street style where you're going to see it layered with loose trousers, skirts, and high boots. You'll see it with skirts and combat boots, things that are shorter. They were all over the runways. They will be all over street style. They will be everywhere in retail stores. And I actually really love this because for those of us that are in cooler climates, especially, it's a great layering piece with a gorgeous blouse, with shirts underneath, even to layer on top of. They provide endless versatility. And of course, they're going to come in many different colors, patterns, shapes, and sizes, whether they're long, short, what have you. Like, it's going to be everywhere. This is a major heavy hitter for fall and I actually think it's going to be a lot of fun. Now the next trend I personally am really loving is this preppy sort of classic look, which plays a little bit into the knit sweaters that we were just talking about. But this in particular is not only going to play into vests, but anything that has that aristocratic kind of English countryside feel. So we're going to see things like riding boots, relaxed trousers, button up blouses, beautiful tailored trench coats, long dusters, things that have classic elegant tailoring timeless pieces that again you would find in a very aristocratic feel this is what it's all about this fashion so stock up on your basics this is going to be a really fun one to play with this is going to be something you get a lot of longevity with when it comes to your wardrobe because these are going to be beautiful elegant staples that you can use time and time again my personal favorite when something like this comes around is to get some of those gorgeous basics but get them in a shot of color it will not only make that piece look more fresh but it's something that will stand the test of time as a classic statement piece in your wardrobe which i think is a lot of fun so anything that has a hint of preppiness to it English countryside, again, just like an evergreen classic piece. This is what you want in your wardrobe. I think it's beautiful, like nice and timeless, a great investment for your closet. Now, another trend for this fall that I'm personally really excited about are saturated colors. A lot of the time in past for fall, the tendency was to go to muted, darker colors more of those autumnal colors, but moodier colors. And this season, we've actually almost completely strayed away from that. Now, while there are darker colors, the trend is bright, saturated colors. There's a lot of warmth that came down the runway in beautiful bright pinks, yellows, oranges. There were some grays and whatnot as well, for sure, but lots of rich blues. Periwinkle in particular, I think is going to be very popular. A lot of the pinks are going to be very popular. And yes, yellow has definitely not gone anywhere since that was one of Pantone's colors. My mic keeps falling, I'm just going to hold it. <laughs> but the colors are gorgeous this season and what I love about this is that it brings a pop of color into something that I feel like by the end of the winter time we're so bored of like you know the dark moody colors are beautiful but by the end of winter we're thinking come on like I'm craving some color or at least that's how I feel and so I feel like this is a bit of a reprieve this season something that brings a bit of spring to your step if you will in the fall season I think there's going to be a lot of opportunity for some really lovely statements with some of these colors that have hit the runway I'm personally really excited about it 
Now for my creatives out there, for some of my fashion lovers that love bold pieces, you're going to love this next trend which is all about large prints. So large scale prints are the name of the game and colorful prints in particular. These obviously will not be everyone's flavor but these add a lot of personality and you're going to see them in jackets, pants, shirts, literally everything, you name it. They're going to be prints on top of everything. And while I know large scale prints aren't going to be for everyone, they are something that is going to create a gorgeous statement. They're going to be really impactful especially if you're someone that needs to speak publicly. Let's say for example this could be really beautiful to see on a speaker if they're on a main stage. Let's say or if you're in a Zoom meeting and you want to command some attention, this could be gorgeous on a shirt or something that you're wearing. But also, these are great on any of you that have a larger bone structure. There's going to be a lot of harmony between these larger prints and your bone structure, which is really, really gorgeous. If you were looking to create a little bit more harmony in your look, this could be a gorgeous opportunity to nab some prints that really speak to you. But I love the personality that is involved in these prints. I think they're going to be so much fun to experiment with this fall. And again, if you're someone that has a more creative or a dramatic kind of style to your personality and you like that boldness in your fashion this is going to be something you're really going to love to explore. Now the next round we actually saw last fall season so I don't feel like this one's overly fresh but it is practical is puffer everything puffer jackets you're gonna see puffed up quilt in boots in bags and accessories and for me personally I don't love this trend the Canadian in me loves it for puffer jackets I think this is very practical for if you're in a cooler climate Canadians, like we all know about this kind of jacket, you need a puffer jacket if you're in a northern climate or somewhere where it gets really cold. A puffer jacket is invaluable in the winter time especially, but we're definitely seeing it in other things. Again, different types of coats, pants, boots, accessories, everything. So it's puffer everything, it's just puffer mania this season. And again, you will see it not just in neutrals, but also in some of those saturated hues that we've been talking about. So it's kind of cool. It's lovely that you're gonna stay warm. I don't feel like this is the freshest trend. For me personally, I think it's a little bit, like it's just not very exciting, but that's the Canadian in me. Just to, to me, it's we see it this every season, but this is a trend for this fall. Now the next trend that I think is incredibly practical, I also love the vibe of it, is knitwear. Now you're gonna see knitwear in everything, which again has a very practical use for this time of year as we step into cooler weather. Obviously you want to stay warm, so the practical side of it is fabulous, but we're going to see knitwear in everything. It's not just for your sweaters anymore. You will see knits in sets, in pants, in dusters, in coats, in sweaters themselves, in shirts, in beautiful crop tops, in more of a crochet. Like knit Everything is the name of the game this season and you're going to see it all over the place in every color and every style that you can imagine in just about everything. There's even knit like bags, accessories, all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of taking over just like the puffer trend as well. You will see this everywhere, but I love that there's a practical side to this. It keeps you warm just like the puffer does as well. I love how creative the designers have become as well in terms of layering the knits, the different textures and colors they've added this season in terms of the knitwear. I especially love it in some of the sets that hit the runway. I just think they're beautiful. And actually I'm excited to see this. We already saw a little bit of the knitwear in spring for sure. That was a really big trend as well. We saw of course with like the bralette knits and you know the cardigans that went over top. And now we're just going to go further off the deep end with this knitwear as well and it's just going to get bigger and bolder for the fall season so I love it for the practical side I love getting cozy this time of year and I love that this is a trend for the season now speaking of sets this is also a massive trend for the season and with sets just about anything goes seriously we will see sets in suits like a traditional set like a suit set that could be very classic or it could be over the top with lots of logos and stuff everywhere or you might see a skirt set right like a, a long beautiful midi skirt with a more fitted rib net or ribbed like tube top let's say for example or crop top of some kind but sets like a, the matchy matchy thing is back it's with a vengeance sets are where it's at and I love this because you can really play them off with some really fabulous accessories that really create a statement but for those of us that don't like to think about what to wear in the morning this could be a beautiful thing almost like a uniform if you will where you just get to pick something you throw it on you look put together and modern fabulous trend lots of room for possibility and the best of all 
is when you buy a set, you can also use the separates individually too and just get more wear out of your closet. So I actually think this is going to be a big one. I think a lot of women are going to love it. I personally love it as well. Beautiful trend this season. Now the next trend, I don't personally know how I feel about this one. I might warm up to it, is cutouts. This is a very early 2000s thing. The cutout thing, I feel like could go tacky really fast depending on how it's done. I don't mind some of the cutouts that you can see on tops or dresses where it's a little bit up top, but when it starts to go through the midsection, through the thigh, through the leg, mm, it can border on a little clubbish, which I'm not against any of that, but I feel like this is a trend you have to be really careful with for it to still look elegant or elevated. Not that you have to be that all the time, for sure. You can do whatever you want with fashion. But for me, there's something about it that doesn't feel overly fresh. This is just my personal opinion. It is a really big trend for the fall season though. And I will say some of the tops that have come out with cut out, cut out, cut outs, can't talk. <laughs> They are beautiful, I gotta say. So, and you're gonna see cutouts in dresses, in pants, in skirts, in everything. It's a really big thing. To me, this is a much more trendy item, for sure. I feel like this was going to come in and out a lot faster than some of the other things that I've mentioned, but it is a heavy hitter for this fall. Now, the next trend I love, this will probably come as no surprise to all of you, but glamour, sparkle, metallics. This is all big for the season. Not overly fresh as I feel like there's always a hint of glamour on the runways that hit every season, but I feel like this is a reprieve from like the past little while that all of us have been involved in with this pandemic. It is so nice to have a little sparkle and fun in the wardrobe. And what's nice about this, because fashion very much reflects the times too, is it is a little bit more conservative. So this is not a glamour that's overtly sexy. You're seeing a lot of sequin pieces with higher necks or lower hemlines. So it does reflect the times a little bit, but I do think it's nice to put on a little sparkle, have some fun with your clothing. That is what it's meant to be. It's meant to elevate your energy, make you feel good. And you can't put on something sequin or metallic or sparkling and tell me you can be in a bad mood. Like, how can you be in a bad mood when you're wearing Sparkle? <laughs> Seriously. So I actually really love this trend. I think it's so much fun and it's just something to have fun with. Now, if you have an occasion where you get to wear it out as well, obviously all the better, but I love this slight nod to the 1920s, a little bit of that flapper feel in some of this glamorous trend. I think it's fun why the hell not wear something that makes you feel good and add a little bit of a playful feel to your wardrobe? There's so many ways that you can dress sequins and metallics into your everyday without it being an evening wear piece. And I, for one, am so here for this trend. Now, another trend I am loving are statement pieces. Statement pieces are the rage for accessories again. So gone are the dainty, jewelry that everyone's been wearing for a long time. Now that doesn't mean that the chain necklaces which have been trending are gone. You're just seeing them in chunkier versions. They're a little bit closer to a choker style now. You might even see some charms hanging off of them, but everything is big and bold. So you're gonna see a lot of large oversized statement earrings. The chandelier earring in particular is really popular, but large statement pieces in general, earrings or necklaces, are where it's at. You're even gonna find large oversized cocktail rings, just this bigger and better kind of mentality is what's happening this season. I for one am here for it. I think we did the dainty thing. It was nice, it was a great switch because we had been in the statement pieces for a long time, but now we're kind of edging back in that direction. And I know it won't be for everybody, but this is something I think allows us to play. And this is what I love about trends rotating. There's something new for all of us, depending on what's your personal style. And I love a good statement piece, especially if you are someone that likes to wear jeans and a t-shirt, throwing on a great pair of statement earrings or beautiful statement necklace instantly makes it look more intentional and more elevated. I think this is a really special trend and one I'm definitely welcoming back this season. Now, another trend are tote bags, oversized bags. We're starting to see this already. We've got a lot of tote bags that are larger and oversized. Gucci has definitely released some oversized bags recently. They released their Diana bag that she had carried back in the 90s, I believe it was. And we're just seeing the large bags. So gone are those micro mini bags. That's not really the vibe anymore, although you still will see smaller bags, but larger oversized totes are really coming into play here, and they are the forward trend for a lot of bags. Now you're also going to see some mid-size shoulder bags. Yves Saint Laurent has some beautiful shoulder bags out right now as well that are absolutely stunning, but, or Saint Laurent, I should say, not Yves Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent, but 
Overwhelmingly, it is the large tote bag. That's what's very much coming on trend again. I remember the large tote bags being, was it early 2000s? I think last that they were a thing. But I, again, I just love this feeling of something fresh because we've been in this small bag cycle for such a long time. The larger bags are, again, they're kind of nice if you want to just throw everything in there and not have to worry about it. All of our bags can definitely become a bit of an abyss when we do that. Sometimes I feel like I can't find anything in there, but larger totes big trend for fall. And of course, if you want to join my online personal stylist training, please don't forget that the registration closes Saturday. I'm going to leave the link for that program down below in case you are interested, but share with me down below. What trend are you interested in? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Is this not your vibe this season? Share with me what you are loving in the comments down below. And other than that, my angels, I'm sending you all the love to the moon and back and I'll catch you again in the next video. Bye.